today we're gonna tell you about history of Polish films. We hope you enjoyed and of course learn something new. Have a nice watching! And now we'll move to another place. There will be first information. In Poland in 1899 was the first Polish cinema and second one in Europe. It was called Gabinet of Illusion. It was in Łódź at Piotrkowska 120. The cinema was funded by brothers Antoni and Władysław Krzemiński. It was beautiful and vintage. Every inhabitant wanted to see this amazing place. Tickets for the screening were cheaper than nowadays. It was mostly depending on who were seats. The most expensive was those next to the screen. Unfortunately, in Brother's Cinema the program was limited, so they left watch shortly after they opened it. Władysław and Antoni Krzemiński achieved great success across the country, but in the center of Łódź the adventure with cinematograph was begun. In 2016, after almost 100 years, the magic of cinema came back. This place is now reopened. A real revolution of film's history in the whole world turned out a cinematograph, which was patented by the French brothers Lumiere in 1985. Thanks to this invention, they contributed to the development important in Polish cinematography. In Poland, the most deserving creator of cinematography was Kazimierz Pruszyński, who constructed first manual camera using automatic drive. He named his invention the Aroskop. Nowadays, we can say that Pruszyński's camera has had huge impact on development of documentary films and reportage. Oh, hi Mila! I know that you are interested of history of Polish film, so I have for you fun fact! Hi Stella! I'm dancing lesson, but I can't talk because I have break. So yes, I'm listening to you. Okay, so the real history of films had begun in 1877. From that day, Hannibal Goodwin invented film stock. But we have to remember that in Poland the beginning of cinematography was started 17 years later. Oh really? About that, I have for you something new. When Poland was under annexion for 123 years, a lot, I know, the film production has started. And also, do you know that the most popular scenarios of that time were films about patriotism, loving the country and problematic love? Oh, very nice information. I didn't know about that. But now I must to go because I am late for my bus. So bye, love you. Okay, Stalka, so have a nice day. And of course, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bolesław Matuszewski and his brother opened the first Polish company, who was called Paris Photography, Luc Sigismund et Com. This company made few documentary films about Warsaw. Another Polish film company was the Playograph Share Society. Founder of it was Kazimierz Proszyński. Do you know that one of the most popular studios in Poland is Documentary and Future Film Studio? This is where for 17 years we recorded documentary films. The center became a very important place in Polish culture. Okay, so let's start with the interwar actors. The most popular was Eugeniusz Bodo and Adolf Dymsza. 
Next category is post-war actors. For example, Jadwiga Andrzejewska and Artur Barcis. Okay, so let's move to 60s and 70s. In those years, we can see this type of actors. Beata Tyszkiewicz and Kalina Jędrusik. Actors of the 1980. Dorota Kamińska, Jerzy Sztur and Katarzyna Figura. Contemporary actors. Małgorzata Kożuchowska, Cezary Pazura and Andrzej Grabowski. Frances. Italiano. In the past you didn't eat popcorn or nachos, you didn't drink cola or Pepsi. 50, 60, 17 years ago it would be not normal. People dressed chic while watching the film. They were sipping tea or coffee, but the most common was smoking cigars. Oh my gosh, it's so good. That would be it for the history of film in Poland. We encourage you to read on the websites about other countries and their film origins. The end!